everybody and welcome to the September 12th issue of The Point. My name is Kim. My name is Grace. And we're going to give you a quick highlight of all the awesome stories you can expect this week. Alright, so starting off in news, we have a policy story about the alcohol policy that just got revised. And we also have video for that story, so if you weren't there, you can witness Meg McKeon do her magic on explaining how to be responsible with alcohol. Also, check out our new faculty. We have them featured in news, and you can figure out awesome new little tidbits about them, like who's the beekeeper? <laughs> there is a new, there's a beekeeper on campus, and we have ten different uh, new faculty uh, featured. So check out ten new people that are roaming the campus. Definitely worth the read. Great points. <laughs> All right, we also have a story about more opportunities to travel in May. Mm -hmm. uh, we definitely have a few trips coming up, so go ahead and figure out whether or not you want to go on that trip. Mm -hmm. And we also have an enrollment story, so if you want to know whether or not we're dipping or increasing our enrollment status here at BVU, check out that story. Moving on to sports, we have a feature on Miss Helen Arnold, who's been scoring a lot of goals for the women's soccer team. Uh, we're also going to do a feature on Mitch Brunick, who was a student last year, but is now the head coach of the men's and women's uh, golf team. So that's an interesting transition for him, and we have a feature on him. Also, look forward to Grady's Game Center, which is Grady Gallagher's blog. He's going to be talking about the past football games, the Iowa football games from this past uh, Saturday, I think, or was it Sunday? Good I question. think it was Saturday. We're not, we're not good at sports. <laughs> <laughs> we edit the stories, though. We do. Uh, we also have uh, a feature on Coach Tony Tomasi, who is the winningest coach at BDU for soccer coaches. We have a video on the field post game uh, from their most recent, I think their most recent game, or second most recent, and uh, also a written article on that game as well. Finally, check out a new scoreboard graphic that we're going to be posting every week in sports. It will have all the most recent scores for all the matches and games that have been played, so check that out as well. Alright, and in Art and Life, you can expect a story on memes. Read about the ones that are most common, as well as the ones that just started popping up here on BVU campus. They are quite hilarious. Uh, also, we have a super fan story featuring our very own bodybuilder, Jesse Garcia. Check out his buff photos. And we also have a review on the game Skyrim, so if you're really big into that game and want to know more about the new release, go ahead and check that out. Very true. Lastly, we have Opinion, and we just signed er, signed uh, two <laughs> bloggers, one Republican, one Democrat, and this week they will be talking about the conventions that just uh, rounded up in the southern states. Uh, we also have a story on taxes that go towards funding inmate surgeries, and one writer will talk about her feelings on that. Finally, or not finally, we have two more. <laughs> One on college voter registration. If you're interested on someone's opinion on uh, college voter registration, you should read that. As well as whether feminism or the word feminist is actually a bad word or an offensive term to certain women in this nation. Or, I guess, people in general. They don't have to be women. Uh, thank you for listening to this we tried to keep it brief video update for the TAC this is the point you're probably watching at the point which is our newsletter if you're not you should go to bbtac.com go to the subscribe tab and click subscribe you'll get an email alert every Wednesday in your inbox uh, this is the September 12th issue of the TAC thank you for watching my name's Grace and I'm Kim and we will see you next week bye <laughs>